So once again, to understand the image formation by a convex mirror, we need to understand the ray diagrams for convex mirrors. And to draw the ray diagrams, we need to understand the rules to draw the ray diagrams. Even here, we have three rules, out of which the first rule will be. Here, we place the object over there and the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis. But we know that this is a diverging mirror, so it will diverge the rays of light, but these rays will appear to come from this point that is the focus. So if an incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, then the reflected ray appears to diverge from the focus itself. So whenever you place the object, the first thing that you do is draw this parallel ray and reflect it, that is diverge it and draw the dotted lines towards the focus. Coming to the second rule. So now, when we try to pass the ray of light through the center of curvature, the mirror comes in between. So what we can do is, we can direct this ray of light in the direction of the center of curvature. What did we do? We can direct the ray of light in the direction of the center of curvature and this ray of light will reflect back in the same direction and you can draw simply a dotted line till the center of curvature. So let's see the point. If an incident ray is directed in the direction of the center of curvature, the reflected ray traces the same path. Now, we'll move on to the third rule and the third rule is we have to pass or we have to try to pass the ray of light through the focus. But again, when we try to do so, the mirror comes in between. Again, we will direct the ray of light in the direction of the focus. But since we are directing it in the direction of the focus, this ray after reflection will simply go parallel to the principal axis and we have to extend this ray of light at the back. Let's read the statement. So if an incident ray is directed in the direction of the principal focus, then the reflected ray becomes parallel to the principal axis. So these were the three rules to draw the ray diagrams. Now we learn to draw the base diagram for a convex mirror. Again we draw the principal axis first. Now here, again we take 2 centimeters and we mark the point C. In the base diagram for concave mirrors, we marked a point P over here, but here we'll mark point C. Then 2 centimeters and point F, then 2 centimeters, then point P. Now, these 2 centimeters, these dimensions are only for your understanding, do not write 2 centimeters. Now, we'll use the protractor to draw the convex mirror. So, we take and place the protractor in such a way that the 90 degree line coincides with the principal axis. Then, how many lines above, how many lines below? 4 lines above and 4 lines below, we draw this line and this time, we shade it on the inside because this is a con convex mirror. So this completes the base diagram that we can use in all the ray diagrams for a convex mirror. So here we have to draw a ray diagram for object between infinity and the pole of a convex mirror. So we should have a base diagram first and we have already seen how to draw a base diagram for a convex mirror. Now we are supposed to place the object between infinity and the pole. So here, that is beside pole, we'll take 2 centimeters and place the object. And in this case, the height of the object should be 2 lines of your notebook. You see, we have 2 lines of the notebook. Now you apply the first rule, that is the incident ray parallel to the principal axis, do not forget to draw the arrow. Now we know that this is a diverging mirror. So you simply keep your scale at this point and at F and you draw one ray of light that is dark line away from the mirror and dotted line moving towards the focus. So this is the first rule that we have applied. Now after this, the second rule is very very important over here, concentrate over here so that you don't make a mistake. Take your scale, keep one point of your scale at A, the other at C. Now, simply from the mirror, you will draw a straight line that is a dark line moving away from the mirror. But we know that we have to draw one more arrow pointing towards the mirror over here. And then you draw dotted lines towards C. So here what is happening is, this ray of light is traveling towards the mirror, but since it is in the direction of the center of curvature, it traces the same path. So here you see, these two rays of light are appearing to meet at this point, that means the image will be formed over here, that is A dash and B dash. So what is the position of the image? It is between P and F. And what is the nature? Are the rays of light actually meeting? No, they are not. That means it is a virtual image. And all virtual images are always erect. Let's talk about the size now. Here we have two lines of the notebook. Here we have only one line of the notebook. That means it is a diminished image. So no matter where you place the object in front of a convex mirror, you will always, you will always obtain an image that is virtual, erect, and diminished in a convex mirror. So concave mirror can produce real as well as virtual image, but a convex mirror can form only virtual image. And yes, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon.